Good morning. One minute to go. Eh. They'll catch up. Okay. Welcome to Saturday. We're going to sing God of the Prophets, Bless the Prophet's Sons. It is one of those hymns we often sing when we install a new pastor. And uh, we'll think about Brian Schindel today, who's being installed at St. Mark in Brooklyn tomorrow. Um, uh, he will continue to serve Cross and Resurrection in Ypsilanti, but he'll be also serving St. Mark as well. And, uh, of course, that's a big step for their congregation, for those congregations. So um, uh, we pray for God's blessing there. <clears throat> they maybe will sing this song. We're singing it because of the first verse, Elijah's mantle or Elisha cast. Let's start. It's number 682. Departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen in front of him, and he was the, with the twelfth. Elijah passed by him and cast his cloak upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him and took the yoke of oxen and sacrificed them and boiled their flesh with the yokes of the oxen and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah and assisted him. This is an interesting story. It, this is sort of a, somewhat a mirror of Gideon's calling. Remember Gideon in, in Judges chapter 6, I think? Uh, Gideon is called to go and defeat the Midianites. And uh, um, when he's persuaded that it's the word of the Lord that he should obey, then um, uh, he takes his father's oxen and he pulls down the altar of Baal with it, builds another altar and sacrifices the oxen. And the next morning, and then he pulls down the, uh, the Asherah pole. The next morning, everybody's got a mosquito here. Uh, everybody is like, who pulled down the altar of Baal? 
and they figure out it's it was Gideon, and uh, they're going to kill him. And Gideon's father says, "Hey, uh, if Ga if Baal is a god, then he can contend for himself." Um, and so they give uh, they give Gideon a nickname, Jerob Baal, that he contends with, or Baal contends with him. <clears throat> so now he, uh, Elijah who was exhausted yesterday. He was at the mountain of the Lord and God spoke to him and he says, okay, you know, he, Elijah, Elijah gave his big complaint recitation and God says, I'll, uh, I'll let you appoint your successor. And he points him out to, to Elisha and sends him there. And so, but now, now when he comes there, uh, he finds Elisha and it, and it says he passed by him and cast his cloak on him. <laughs> that that sounds to me like, here, run. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it was like that, but that's certainly how it, it's written here. It's a uh, it's very en passant, you know, on my way by, I'm going to, here, this is yours now. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to hand over your ministry. Wh whatever your calling is from God. And, uh, and Elijah, uh, Elisha does not receive it reluctantly. He he uh, runs after him and says, "Hey, I just got to say goodbye to my mom and dad, and I'm off." Uh, you know, and uh, Elijah has this very cynical, um, "Go back again. What have I done to you?" Um, he's, I think, is he still doubting that God will really bless him in this? Maybe sometimes we receive God's blessings with reluctance and skepticism. I'm not so sure this is going to work out. I think some people begin marriage that way. Some people begin uh, uh, especially a new relationship, a new friendship, when another one has, has been um, perhaps a burden or a problem, not gone well. Uh, and we become cynical and skeptical in ministry. That can happen. A pastor can really get burned in a congregation where people are rebellious and difficult and, and a person can become skeptical of is this of any value and uh, they go to a new congregation and, and they are a little distant a little hands off for a while until they see oh God is really blessing this and these people will respond to my ministry so Elijah has not had anybody really helping him, anybody you know uh, that he felt he could trust. And so he's a little slow here. But Elisha, uh, Elisha turns around and he hosts a farewell party. He says, "I'm gonna slaughter all my dad's oxen and boil them, and uh, let's and and everybody sit down and have some." And uh, he feeds the whole village. And then off he goes. Um, that's kind of a bold, bold thing to do. But he arose and went after Elijah and assisted him. Uh, next week we're going to shift into more warfare. And for a little time we'll hear about uh, Israel, the northern kingdom, and Syria. And their battles and what God does there. But we will be coming back to Elijah and Elisha and the character of their ministry. This is a... This is an inspirational chapter or, or section as people think about going into the ministry. Are, are there people eager to go and serve the Lord, to leave behind the oxen, to leave behind the tools of their father's trade, and to take up the Word of God as their, as their tool instead? We are right now especially reminded of how important that is. And when God calls you to a task, it is a blessed thing. It is a great honor, and it is it is a great challenge. It demands leaving something else behind. You think about your vocations, and they didn't always seem welcome, and you didn't always feel well prepared. I don't think I ever felt well prepared. Let's have four children, and what do we do with them? <laughs> Yeah. Or, here's what you're going to do at Concordia, and here's a here's a job you've never done before, <laughs> and another, and another. Um, all our life, God has called us to different things, and 
we go from one to the next. Uh, a season, a new season in our life. And the Lord leads us there. And we say goodbye to an old one. And we go to a new one. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing here. It's a good thing in us also. Um, before we close the prayer, I want to remind you, just let you know, that we are going to be transitioning our devotion, our daily devotion, on August 14. After that, you'll need to find it at my personal Facebook page instead of the St. Paul Lutheran Church Ann Arbor Facebook page. So you look for Don Neuendorf on Facebook and like that page and follow it and the devotions will be up there. Or you can look on YouTube for New Mercies Every Morning. Search for New Mercies Every Morning on YouTube and that should pop up. Uh, if that doesn't work, search for my name. I think that'll pop up too. Um, there was we. St. Paul, the congregation has their their uh, YouTube page and their Facebook page, and I'm not going to be using those after after uh, the August 14. But we, God willing, we plan to continue. If God continues to call us to this vocation, we plan to continue to have these devotions every day with you. Let's pray. Father, you have called each one of us. We have a vocation, a calling. You have called us to the tasks of this day. Lord, grant that we may be as eager as Elisha, that we may celebrate our calling as he did, and then joyfully run after it. Lord, if we are, some of us, feeling burned out like Elijah and wanting to cast the mantle onto someone else, Lord, give us patience. You gave Elisha, Elijah that encouragement that Elisha would assist him. But, Father, we pray. We know that you also continued with that assistance. You continued to, to require him to serve for some time yet. Lord, strengthen us to serve also in new ways and, uh, uh, and with new energy and strength. Bless us today with that. In Jesus' name. Oh, and Lord... Bless Pastor Brian Schindel. Bless all the pastors, Lord, who are beginning uh, a new ministry this weekend or who are preparing to serve you in the morning, uh, to preach your word, to lead your people. Call more men into ministry uh, that we may rejoice together as congregations to be led by your shepherds. In Jesus' name, amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.